What's up guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. As designers, we're basically problem solvers, and one of those problems are logos that people need. Well, I don't feel like I'm the best logo designer because I haven't had a lot of experience at it. So in order to force myself to get better, I've decided to start a challenge. 12 months of logos. That is one logo every month for this year. Now the first logo is gonna be a logo for the challenge itself, the January logo. It's gonna go right up here on every thumbnail for every video of the 12 months of logo series. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is my design process from start to finish. The sketching process is a time to be fluid and loose with your design work. No idea is a bad idea. Just put it all out on paper. You can decide later what you like or don't like. I looked up a few things on Pinterest and Instagram involving badge design, which is where I thought I wanted to start with this logo. And so I began to work with different shapes and using the words 12 months of logos, figuring out the hierarchy and how those words or numbers fit into each of these shapes. I then took these sketches into Illustrator to start to vectorize them. I found out very quickly that Illustrator is a lot less flexible than sketching, and so some of the ideas were a little bit hard or at least took longer to come up with. There's badge icon designs, some with script lettering, some with logos. Some of them are even more minimal. They're square shape or they just have the words or they even have different elements pulled in or not even all the words in there. I hadn't picked a favorite yet and so I was really struggling through this process trying to decide what the logo should be. I then took what I think is a very important step in design and that is to step away from your project for maybe 24 hours, maybe one good night's sleep. For me, it was a couple of days. Then come back to it, and when you come back to it, you've got a fresh set of eyes. And I didn't even have to come back to it, I actually had an idea while I was stepped away from it, while I quit thinking about it. And that was actually manifested in this sketch here, right? I don't know if you can see very well. Yeah, so this sketch is actually something that I thought of and was like, oh, maybe I just should just sketch that down real quick. And so this was the start of a totally new concept. I thought, what if all of the words had the same amount of importance and they all fit together in some interesting way? So that was the start of what the actual logo became. So it was back to the drawing board, but this time I had a very good idea of what I wanted this to be. So I took all of the words and tried to fit them together in one block shape. What this did is it created a design that was almost like a texture instead of just a straight up logo that spoke something. And this texture would become an identifier for the design challenge itself. So now it was time to take this concept into Illustrator and begin building it out of shapes. I decided to get rid of the angle because it was creating some weird spacing between some of the letters and deforming some of the letters in ways that I didn't like. I felt like it was more important to keep that consistent spacing, so I went straight across and put the 12 in the upper left and the of in the lower right, and then the months in between that sort of straight across with equal spacing between all of the letters. There was a lot of back and forth and figuring out the shape of some of the letters that I wanted, the sizing, the spacing. I tried to do like two thirds on top and one third on bottom, and then the same thing with the 12 and the of, those being a third of the size of the month's height. From there, it was about trying to figure out the S shape and also trying to figure out, do I like the spacing in the M or is there too much negative space there? And same with the N. Do I need to change some of those letters? And so I ended up going back and fixing some of the S shapes and fixing the spacing between the M and the N for my final design. And that's a wrap for this logo. Here it is, the logo that we created for 12 months of logos, this little design challenge. It really took quite a few turns. I, I think it's interesting how it turned out uh, compared to where it started. And I think one thing I really learned is to be confident in the direction in the sketching process, right? So actually have something you really like, you think is going to work throughout all your sketches before you go to Illustrator because Illustrator isn't quite as flexible as sketching. And so you can't get all the ideas out in Illustrator, which I was, I, I was wrong in thinking, oh, I'll figure this thing out in Illustrator. I'll just move on from sketching. I think I would definitely maybe sketch twice, you know, sketch once to get a bunch of ideas out, come back to it and be like, oh yeah, because your brain's going to put things together in a different way and you're going to be able to sketch new ideas, new concepts. And then maybe from there, you've got something you really, really love that you can take into Illustrator and finalize and tweak, tweak more than discover within Illustrator. The other thing that I would take away is that think about the problem you're trying to solve. 
So this logo isn't necessarily meant to be like a logo for a brand or something. What it's really meant is to be an identifier for this design challenge. It's gonna go up in the upper right hand corner of these videos and be something that people will recognize when they look at it. I almost think it looks like a like a QR code or something when you get it farther away or like some kind of uh, a maze design or something which is unique to this specific graphic which is what I really that's the problem that's the criteria I really wanted to accomplish and so I feel like this did a good job of doing that now there's some things about it like I feel like maybe the spacing is a little thin for is for when you get further back from it. I feel like some of the uh, the letters could be better and some of the shapes and stuff could be better. But I'm not perfect and I can only spend so much time on this logo and I had a deadline. In fact, I passed that deadline. But you can't always pass your deadlines. So you really got to sort of work in that crunch time find something that works, it's not always gonna be perfect. Not every logo is gonna be amazing and not every logo in this challenge is amazing. I'll be surprised if any one of them are amazing. And that's just, that's just a part of the journey, that's a part of being a designer. You're solving problems, you're not necessarily creating art, you're solving problems for other people. Sometimes for yourself. And you can get hung up on the art stuff for yourself, but you just gotta get past that. It's not gonna be perfect, it's better done than perfect. That's it for this video. Thank you guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed this process. Let me know what you think about this little logo thing in the uh, in the comments below. You're gonna see it in the upper right hand corner of these videos from here on out. And uh, I've got I've got a neat idea for the second month of logos. I only have a couple days to finish that because we're already late into February. But I'm gonna finish that one on time, and then we'll get back into our regularly scheduled challenge. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe for more tips, tutorials, and creative videos. And I'll see you next time.